else, dude. Charlie Luciano to see you. We got a special guest. Frankie Yale, how are you? Hey, uh, I understand you just got back from Chicago. That's why you brought me here? I asked him to, Frankie. I was visiting a friend. So what? It was a lousy visit, though. Huh? For your friend, I mean. Help yourself. There was a man once. I don't recall his name. Frequented the billiard parlors downtown. He made a comfortable living wagering whether he could swallow certain objects, billiard balls being a specialty. He'd pick a ball, take it down his gullet to here, and regurgitate it back up. And one evening, I decided to challenge this man to a wager. 10,000 in cash for him to do the trick with the billiard ball of my choosing. Now, he knew I'd seen him do this a dozen times, so I can only surmise that he thought I was stupid. We laid down the cash, and I handed him the cue ball. He swallowed it down. It lodged in his throat, and he choked to death on the spot. What I knew, and he didn't, was that the cue ball was one sixteenth of an inch larger than the other balls, just too large to swallow. Do you know what the moral of this tale is, Mr. Yale? Don't need a cue ball. The moral of this story is that if I'd cause a stranger to choke to death for my own amusement, what do you think I'll do to you if you don't tell me who ordered you to kill Colosimo? <laughs> <laughs>